The history of our planet is meticulously recorded in its geological layers, revealing the story of Earth's epochs. Among them, the Oligocene epoch is crucial, marking the transition from the lush environments of the Eocene to the temperate grasslands of the Miocene. Lasting from about 33.9 to 23 million years ago, the Oligocene epoch instigated significant environmental, climatic, and biological shifts. These changes laid the groundwork for today's ecosystems. The Oligocene did not unfold in isolation. It was intricately linked to long-term geological and climatic developments that began in the Paleogene period. After the dinosaurs' extinction at the close of the Cretaceous, Earth experienced remarkable changes during the Paleocene and Eocene epochs, marked by global warming and rapid evolution among mammals and birds. However, a decline in global temperatures during the Oligocene brought about a cooler and drier planet. The shifting of continents, changes in ocean currents, and tectonic actions transformed global geography and redefined evolutionary pressures. Thus, the Oligocene is both an ending and a new beginning, the conclusion of a primarily tropical era and the rise of more open, seasonal landscapes. This video centralizes on the thesis that the Oligocene epoch was a significant evolutionary crossroads in Earth's narrative. It was defined by climate cooling, tectonic realignment, and dramatic faunal changes. It was during this epoch that numerous modern mammalian families emerged, plant ecosystems evolved under shifting climates, and Earth's geography started resembling its present configuration. The initiation of the Oligocene epoch featured a notable climatic transition termed the Grande Coupure, or Great Break, particularly evident in Europe. This marked the extinction of several ancient mammal species, replaced by newer forms migrating from Asia. This faunal transition was driven by considerable geological and climatic changes with global ramifications. The cooling trend that concluded the Eocene intensified during the Oligocene. This shift was largely attributed to the formation of the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, triggered by the separation of Antarctica from South America. This current isolated Antarctica, fostering the growth of a permanent ice cap and altering global heat distribution. The cooling of polar areas spawned various consequences. Sea levels decreased, habitats became arid, and tropical forests retreated towards the equator. Geological evidence reveals that vast regions once lush with forests transitioned to open woodlands and grasslands. This shift was not uniform globally but particularly prominent in higher latitudes and continental interiors. Variations in Earth's orbit, continental positioning due to plate tectonics, and volcanic activity contributed to climate fluctuations. These climatic transformations were pivotal, significantly influencing evolutionary paths. Moreover, the deposition of chalk, marl, and sandstone in various regions, such as Europe's Paris Basin and formations across North America, provides crucial insights into the era's environmental conditions. These sedimentary layers, with abundant fossil remains, illustrate how environmental challenges prompted selective extinctions and adaptive radiation. The biological realm of the Oligocene was both dynamic and responsive to the climatic and geographic changes surrounding it. As the environments shifted, so did the flora and fauna present. A notable outcome of the Oligocene was the diversification of modern mammalian families, many of which continue to thrive today.
The extinction event at the epoch's beginning created fresh evolutionary opportunities. Mammalian lineages, including canids, dog-like carnivores, felids, cats, equids, horses, and cervids, deer, expanded and diversified. These groups developed traits better suited for open, seasonal habitats, such as running locomotion, specialized grazing teeth, and advanced social structures. Primates adapted, although their journey was distinct. The once abundant dense tropical forests began to dwindle outside the tropics. Consequently, primate populations declined in numerous locations. Yet, in regions where forests remained, like parts of Africa and Asia, primates continued evolving, laying the groundwork for future hominid developments. Birds also saw significant diversification. Ground-dwelling species flourished in new grassland terrains, while predatory birds, such as the Furus R. Hasids, terror birds, thrived in certain ecosystems, mainly in South America. Furthermore, marine life adjusted to the fluctuating sea temperatures and changing ocean currents. Cetaceans, whales and dolphins, began evolving specialized feeding adaptations, including baleen structures in mysticetes. Plant life mirrored the ecological shifts, transitioning from an abundance of broad-leaved evergreen trees to drought-resistant species like grasses and deciduous shrubs. The spread of grasslands also influenced herbivore evolution, creating a feedback loop of ecological and evolutionary growth. Fossil records from formations like the White River Group in North America, as well as the Rupelian and Chadian stages in Europe, detail these biological changes. These rich fossil deposits offer essential insights into the adaptive strategies that developed during this epoch. The Oligocene was a period marked by significant tectonic activity, shaping geography, climate, and biological evolution. A key event was the further separation of South America, Antarctica, and Australia driven by seafloor spreading. This geological shift reinforced the Antarctic circumpolar current, crucial for initiating Antarctic glaciation. In Asia, the Indian subcontinent persisted in its collision with the Eurasian Plate, uplifting the Himalayas and Tibetan Plateau. These mountain building processes influenced atmospheric patterns and induced monsoon-like conditions in parts of Asia. Additionally, the orogeny significantly impacted global carbon cycles, as exposed rocks from uplifted areas absorbed carbon dioxide through chemical weathering, promoting global cooling. Although the Laramide orogeny in North America had largely subsided, the uplift of the Rocky Mountains continued to shape regional climates. The basin and range extension began later, with initial stress patterns and faulting already present. Meanwhile, in Europe, the Alpine orogeny, resulting from African and Eurasian plate collisions, produced the Alps and other mountain ranges. These elevated regions acted as climatic barriers, affecting precipitation patterns and influencing vegetation and animal distribution. The tectonic realignment during the Oligocene not only transformed Earth's geography but also established new migration pathways and ocean straits. For instance, the closing of the Turgai Strait allowed species from Asia to enter Europe, leading to the Grande Coupure. These corridors were crucial for faunal exchanges and evolutionary trends. While the Oligocene is recognized for its climatic cooling and evolutionary advancements, some experts call for a more nuanced understanding. A debated aspect is the pace and uniformity of the epoch's cooling trend. 
Isotopic analyses of marine foraminifera indicate that cooling involved brief warming phases, revealing a more complex climatic narrative than a steady decline. Others challenge the centrality of climate change in influencing faunal shifts. Instead, they suggest that tectonic activities, like alterations in land bridges and continental configurations, were pivotal. This perspective posits that migrations and isolation driven by plate tectonics catalyzed extinction and speciation. Further scholarly discussion centers around defining the Oligocene-Miocene boundary. In contrast to the distinct Grande Coupure, the transition to the Miocene is less sharply delineated, lacking a clear extinction event. Instead, it reflects gradual changes in climate and fauna, sparking discussions on whether the Miocene boundary requires re-evaluation or if additional markers should be applied. Despite these discussions, a consensus exists among scientists regarding the Oligocene's broad importance. This epoch represents a time of complexity, transition, and innovation, showcasing Earth's journey towards its present ecological and geological state. The Oligocene epoch, from about 33.9 to 23 million years ago, stands as a transformative chapter in Earth's extensive timeline. Characterized by striking climatic changes, notable tectonic movement, and evolutionary progress, it acts as a crucial link between Eocene's lush past and the Miocene's cooler ecosystems. The advent of Antarctic glaciation, the rise of grasslands, and significant faunal turnover, including the noteworthy Grande Coupure, highlight the epoch's vital role in reshaping life on Earth. This video has delved into the geological complexities of the Oligocene, its far-reaching climatic implications, the biological developments it spurred, and tectonic shifts that affected life trajectories. Additionally, we have acknowledged the various perspectives within the scientific community, recognizing the nuanced intricacies of Earth's history. In reinforcing our central thesis, it is evident that the Oligocene epoch was not merely a transitional stage, it served as a pivotal crucible for change. Much of the modern world is built upon the environmental and evolutionary foundations established during this era. Understanding the Oligocene not only augments our comprehension of Earth's history but also offers essential insights into the processes shaping our planet's future. As current climate change and biodiversity loss challenge ecosystems, the lessons of the Oligocene are increasingly pertinent, reminding us that Earth's balance is both dynamic and deeply interconnected. If you appreciated this video and wish to access similar content, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll receive alerts for new video uploads. Thank you for your viewership, and I look forward to your presence in our upcoming video.